have three items for you guys this evening. Um, I'm not sure which order they are on the agenda. You want me to start with my financials or February, do you want me to? Yep, okay. I'll start with these. Yeah. All right. So in your boxes, very late on Friday, I apologize, but I also emailed them out. You shall, should have received the financials for the month of February. Uh, the first thing that I pointed out that it does include the default budget, which was passed by the voters at, at the election. So that column has been populated and in January. When I was here, we had just been using the 2017 budget because we hadn't had a budget yet. The target for the month is 16.7%. Um, the revenue, when you look at the revenue report, you can see that the difference in revenue from 2017 to 2018, the 2018 revenue is higher than 2017 by $99,545. The month's total income was $537,410. Of that total, motor vehicles came in at $261,962. Interest on taxes at $10,004. Building permits at $26,862. Departmental income at $14,219. Land rent at $164,928. That's always billed out because it's due on April 1st. So that's billed usually sometime in February. District court fines at $14,788. And the real estate trust at $38,414. On the expense side, uh, we are we were current at the end of February we were 15.62% spent or under budget by $266,997. Um, let's see I already said that I put in the account there. Um, many of the departments across the budget you will find light items that are already over 50% expended. In most cases, this is related to semi-annual or annual payments made for things such as software support contracts, hydrant building, billing, which is done twice a year, chemical purchase orders for public works is done in January for the year, um, and town report expenses and et cetera items, similar items like that. Under personnel administration, you will see that the bank buyback line is 103% 103.03% spent. As I explained last month, this is processed once a year in in January, so nothing else will be spent from that line. In the Public Works Department, you will notice that a few of the line items under snow and ice removal are running high, which is common at this point in the year, as we all hope the snow will soon come to an end. On pages 17 and 18, you will find that I've entered all the warrant articles that were passed at the town meeting along with the articles that the board voted to bring forward from the previous year. So all of those uh, fields have all been updated on the report. Fund 24, the recreation, has a balance of $182,435. Fund 25, the cable committee, has a balance of $507,921. Fund 26, for private detail, has a balance of $135,000. 285 and fund 27 the EMS fund has a balance of 692,443 I did add there though that there is an outstanding purchase order for an ambulance of 234,931 so that takes a chunk of that uh, 692,000 wastewater system development charge um, the fees collected in 2018 total $1,596 with a balance in this account of 198238 with $96,722 in approved expenditures from the board. And that wraps up the monthly financials for February. Very good. Jim. Yeah. Uh, motor vehicles, 261,962. That's up, same, lower. Oh, let's see. Hmm. It is, let's see. It was 600 and... I only have it by the um, whole year as a total, but it's over about thirty thousand over about forty thousand over no thirty thousand over what it was in seventeen at the end of February. Okay, so the revenue up ninety nine thousand. Part of that would be the motor vehicles, yeah, and, and the rest would be the. Oh, uh, let's see. I think we have. Um, let's see if we have any state money. Yeah, we had two state payments so far in eighteen, which we didn't have in seventeen. We had. Um, 
a highway subsidy payment of sixty-three thousand two hundred forty-six, and the state water pollution control at twenty-one thousand two hundred five, which we hadn't received in February of seventeen. So that accounts for an, another chunk of um, that money, eighty-four thousand, right there. Okay, and I had uh, departments that are over. Departments that are over. But mostly due to one time. Most would yeah, all I, be I due to one time. Or? I looked through that today, and everyone. Some uh, payroll lines are slightly over, but I think it's because there was a five-week uh, payroll in, February, in either January or February. So I think that is why some of those wage lines are running a little bit high. But overall, I think everyone is uh, is okay, okay at this on, point. On one, um, traffic control and patrol mm -hmm. vacation wages were o over pretty much. No, is that because they get paid all at once or, or a lot of... Winter in vacations. Control? Vacation? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I was in crime control. Traffic control, the vacation line is at 29. Nine. I think it's just based on when people take their vacation. It's not a payout or anything. It's just for vacation time that people are using. So yeah. this is their quieter time. So mm -hmm. maybe more people are prone to take vacation at this time of year down there. Okay. And if one not like staff development, that would be because of one staff development. A lot of those lines are small money anyway, so if anyone's just taking like one or two courses or whatever, that could, okay. you know, bring those numbers up because they're small dollar values. Usually, and then communications, uh, the rentals and leases were up 66 Rentals and leases, my guess would be that that's some kind of a contract. Okay, good. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Uh, Christy, thanks for the report. I see even with the default, we are still slightly underspent. So yes. great job. Thank you. Sure. Yeah, and thank you for sending this out. I couldn't find my packet, but I was able to see this right online. It's very easy to uh, follow. You do a great job. Thank, thank you. you. All right, Louise. Christy, I have a couple of questions, and I'm looking at the this one, the attachment to the February. Um, I hope I have the right one. I've got preliminary design downtown, and it shows two ninety-seven thousand five hundred. Is that, it's not showing as an encumbrance. Does it mean that's what has been spent? That's what was brought forward. That's what was brought, so that money is still available. Yeah, they had 30,000 come in from the, yeah, Experience the, Hampton. Um, Experience Hampton. But that's not 297,500. I think there's 32,000, I believe, for Unitel out there. Is that correct, Jen? I think that 30,000 from, that came in from so I guess thirty two thousand of it is spent through an encumbrance through a purchase order I believe. But that article Article forty four yep. lapses on the thirty four first of this month. I believe they have a contract that they're working on. I'm not directly involved in it, so is it a contract? Yeah, it was just signed for this yeah. week that was before the thirty first. Yes. Phew. Okay, and then. Um, Sidewalks shows 2017 warrant article 25,000. Am I? I'm trying to figure out what. Sidewalks 2017. That wasn't article 44. Nope, um, it's article 22, and 20, there's 25,000 that was brought forward from 2017 for that article. Okay. And so there's no, and that doesn't have a lapse date. It has a lapse date, but I'm guessing it's. I would have to go back and look at the article. There's no date written on here. It doesn't elapse. Right. Year, Again, it's believe. just a little confusing. Okay. Um, so the preliminary design for Article 44, the 2015 article for downtown, is that's the one that is about to be finalized before we hit the March 31st deadline. So we get to keep the 30,000 from Experience Hampton and and have the whole article pretty much ready to spend. It's confusing. Well, we brought forward all of the money. I just do the money piece of it. Whether the contracts are being signed or how close they are, I don't know because I'm not so involved I, in that. So I think the article was for 300,000. It was for 300,000. Experience Hampton said they'd pay 30,000. And they've given that. us that check. I believe they did a check. Yep. So you It's sitting in that Warren article. Okay. So you're all set on that one for the for the Now, Article 9. Article 9 from, from 18 or I'm trying to figure out where's article where nine. I am here. 
I don't see an Article 9 on here, I don't think. Let's see. It, actually, it might be more fair for me to ask my question when um, Mr. Jacobs and Mrs. Hale come up. Okay. So why don't we, we hold on that temporarily? Okay. Thank you for your report. You're welcome. All righty. Very good. Thank you. Okay. At least the, it shows we have money. The other items that I had for you that I need signatures on and votes to approve are the investment policy that we adopt on a yearly um, basis. I have reviewed that and sent it off to the treasurer because she's the one who gets to handle all of the money. Mm -hmm. um, and so she has approved this and is fine with all of the wording. So I had sent that off to you guys and have a copy here. That if you have questions, I may be able to answer them, but like I said, it's all up to Ellen. And this is a, we did not make any changes in here from previous years. It's just the board needs to adopt it every year. Okay. Um, so. Any questions need a motion on the, uh, for that? Are there any no. questions first on the uh, appropriations? No, this is the investment, the, policy. investment, investment policy. policy. Right. Do we need Seeing a motion that? for it? Yes, we need a motion. I'll second to Mr. Griffin. I'll make the motion. Motion seconded. All those in favor of the investment policy? Okay, so I'll pass that around okay. in a minute for you guys to sign, and then you can leave that with Fred. And then the last thing I have <laughs> is the MS-232. It's just the appropriations as voted by the town. Um, so they have all been uploaded onto the DRA website and just has all of the articles that were passed at town meeting. And so it has to be signed off by the Board of Selectmen also. Okay, do we need a motion? I'll make that? that motion. Second. Okay, all in favor? I just have one. One question, yep. go ahead. Um, so we have forty one million nine hundred sixty three six seventy eight. Yes. Do you have a tax effect for that? Uh, not on this whole amount because some of that is in regards to the Warren article, but I do have um, where did that go? I do have the tax impact on all of the ones that will affect us in the this given year. Oh, okay, because some great. of this the DRA form takes into consideration all of the bonded articles and stuff mm -hmm. that are um, and all the unassigned okay. fund balance. So basically I did do up the tax impact on all the money articles that passed that didn't were not bonds or were not part of the unassigned fund balance and it's 36 cents okay. was the tax impact for the uh, money articles that did pass including the difference in the default budget as opposed to the 2017 budget. So. Um, I do warn people though that the 36 cents doesn't mean that that's the only impact on the tax rate because they take <laughs> revenues into consideration, <laughs> the values of the property depending on what Ed submits for his April 1st deadline. So I don't want anyone to come and say, hey, my tax rate should have only gone up 36 cents. But that's the, imp the money impact of those articles that were passed. Okay. Thank you very much. Yep. Good anticipation, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, so I'll leave these so here and you guys can pass those around yep. and Fred will bring them to me tomorrow. Thank you. Good. Thank you. You do such a great job Thank and you. it gives everybody a lot of confidence that you're at the helm. Thank, Thank you. you. Do you dream in numbers? No. <laughs> Try not to. Right, Just in you. totals. Yeah. <laughs>